Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. This weather. It is a cold 40 or 45 degree rain. Not the nicest. These are the days we're thankful for a nice warm shop. So this is for all you truck drivers out there. You do an amazing job. Even in the 40 degree rainy weather, you flat better, still gotta throw those straps. You still gotta swing the doors. You gotta roll the tarp, whatever it is. So keep America moving. That's awesome. Good job, drivers. Those are oil lines. We are crossing the gap. So we have reels over there and we're putting them across and we're gonna have reels over somewhere over in there. When I was down at that show in Louisville, one of the reasons I wanted to go is I wanted to look at a GPS system for our trucks on our landscape side or on the Sensenig side of the company. And I thought of using Samsara, but the price point is quite a bit more for Samsara. And it has like Samsara kind of has ELD, not really built into the price, but Samsara just couldn't get a decent price. There's a lot of GPS tracking units that I feel are decent, but they don't offer you know some of the things that samsara does i don't really need an exotic system i just need a very basic system for our fleet um it's not that many vehicles but this way we can track service and things like that so i found this company called fleet chaser and they are based out of new york somewhere i ordered two units as kind of a demo and i got them today so they're pretty basic they plug right into the truck here's what it looks like Shouldn't be too hard of an install. I just got one of the brand new trucks in. I'll show you. So one of them goes in that truck. I'll show you that truck here in a minute. And today is a beautiful fall day. Just like that, the weather changes. We had about a week or at least a couple days of nasty weather. And now the weather's nice, a little breezy today, but it's a beautiful day. And here is a beautiful truck. This truck is brand new just got it in it's a 2022 Ram 2500 6.4 Hemi gas 8-speed automatic set up pretty good if you can see that 19 miles we usually end up buying trucks from ram uh, we have a good dealer right down the road and we also because we're a fleet we're with core centric it's called core centric we can buy these trucks through fleet we get fleet pricing so it keeps it very easy i i get a discount off of invoice i simply go in place the order and uh tell them what i want and there's no haggling really or negotiating. It keeps it pretty easy. And we also get a benefit that we get a five year, 100,000 mile warranty that comes standard on all trucks. So any Ram vehicle we have is through that program. We have the five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, which is perfect. And uh, so we like to get rid of our vehicles around that 90, 95,000 mile range. So these heavy duty trucks we use to haul in the bed. We don't necessarily pull a trailer, so that's why we don't need the diesel. We simply uh, put pallets in the bed and it does get fairly weighty sometimes. A pallet of pavers can weigh, you know, two to 3,000 pounds. So we need more than a half ton, definitely the 2,500 and these trucks handle the weight well. They're priced well and they are reliable. Kind of why we switched to Ram. So I got to make a quick trip into town. Uh, I got to take, I got some t-shirts. I gotta run them downtown, get them shipped out. Uh, I will say, so compared to my truck, to this truck, it is a step up. This truck definitely sits higher, you sit up higher in it. Definitely a difference between the 2500 and the 1500. So this truck, I am not planning on running. This is just a salesman vehicle. It's actually gonna go in and get wrapped. And again, this, so this is for our Sensenig side. So I, 
I work for both companies. Check this out underneath. This is nice and clean under here. But what's crazy is give it a few years and that will surely change. And I'm going to show you a couple things that I need to get rid of. There's some things that we're going to be selling. And that is uh, this trailer. Somebody has interest. It's either going to go to auction. I'm not exactly sure I'm going to sell it yet, but it's, I'll be straight with you guys. It's rusty. I'd make a good farm trailer. It does have the piggyback attachment system on it. The other item I'm going to be selling is this Palfinger GT55. It's just, it's like a lemon in our fleet. We have Prowler and we have Princeton and those machines are great for us. This one is not built quite like those Princetons are in the Prowlers. And this machine is going to go. So whether it's auction, however, I'm not sure. If you have interest, reach out to me and I'll get you the info on it. So two things got to go. And the last minute stop for tires. Kind of got the phone call. Hey, can you go get some tires? You need three tires to wrap up a trailer. It was kind of an, uh, I say not really an odd size, but we didn't need anything special. It wasn't, it's a trailer that we don't use a lot. So I got to load up some tires. I'll show you. All right, I'm loaded. So these are a 22.5 tall. They go on this trailer. Again, it's a trailer we don't use a lot. And close tandem, we usually don't have a lot of issue with tires blowing and shredding and it's a lot less scrub. So we end up running recaps. Again, so far, no issue. And I know I said, I don't like to use other caps, other casings for our tires. Unfortunately, I had to buy these casings and I hope they hold up, but we just didn't have any casings, kind of not good, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Not quite worth new tires, but it is what it is. That trailer will probably maybe get five to 10,000 miles on that trailer till next year. So that's why I say it's not worth it. And then even then it's only gonna do not many miles a day. It's not like this thing's gonna go out and put on 500 miles a day. That'd be a totally different story. So this is just simply here and there, it's gonna get some use. But as a whole, what we do is we send in our own casings to get capped for our tires. That is what works the best. Got a couple more trucks here in the shop. That one is needing a PTO. This one I think was getting a service. That one came back from a frame repair and that one has to go for alignment yet. And then there's one over in the corner and that's a service. And this one's, we got, we got a lot of the components back. We're going to be working on this one. So it's scheduled for, I just talked to the guy again. It's going to be scheduled for right about the beginning of the year is when this is going to go in to get the interior done. So I was looking around for Jay's truck, the red Peterbilt. I wanted to show you, we did a few things to that truck and I don't know where he is. The last couple of days, they must have been keeping him super busy. So I have to show you guys his truck in the next video, but we did the tanks and uh, fenders and wheels and got looking pretty good. I'll show you uh, that truck in the next one. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.